y'all see that screen? I don't know, it's kind of bright. I was trying to show y'all I was playing solid. I just won my second game in a row. Yeah, it's too bright. Anyway. Happy Wednesday night, you guys. Um, I did not go donate. Sorry for the quality. Um, I did not go donate. Um, I had a last minute call. It was busy today. I had a, a last minute call. It was crazy. I didn't get off the phone till 520 something. But I was just like, I, I don't feel like it. <laughs> um, and then I was reading these messages where it's supposed to snow really bad tomorrow. Da, 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 da. So definitely don't want to be out there in my car tomorrow in that. So um, we gotta say he should be home early tomorrow again. So if he's home in time tomorrow, then I'll go ahead and take his car and go. Um, I was gonna take his tonight, but I just I didn't feel like it after after that. I didn't feel like trying to hurry up and get ready. I was just a little frustrated. I had my clothes and everything on, but I just I just <laughs> I just didn't feel like like it after that call. It was really busy um the huddle went well today you guys it went well i was a little nervous uh, when they started the whole the beginning of the presentation the young lady immediately called me and asked me to read like the first part of it so i did good with that and then i had to host the game again i was really nervous but i did okay like you know i explained i read the you know directions to everybody told them how to play it and then I pulled up my list where I had already um, chose who uh, the first couple of describers and artists would be. I sent them um, a message letting them know, you know, sending them like maybe three or four different um, things that they could draw. They could choose whichever the ones they wanted to. They could, you know, uh, get the artist to draw if they describe it. So it was really fun. It turned out to be really good. I really liked the game. It was nice. Um, do you hear me now? It's like a twist on Pictionary. So it was really good. Um, so it went well. Um, I did end up having a one-on-one -on -one with my supervisor. It was a coaching thing where she checked to see if I had any questions, if there's any changes, any needs, da 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 And there was, um, there was one program we have been working on. I still don't have it packed yet, uh, and I had mentioned to her, mentioned it to her before. But you know, it really got busy, so um, it, it fell through. So she set it up where we could kind of like do a training this coming Friday, which is fine. But oh, and then I have I had to cancel my training for virtual uh, virtual presentation training because of the huddle uh, meeting today so that was rescheduled for March um, I think she tried to set it up sooner I forget but uh, yeah, so we talked about that she said that was a good choice that I chose um, I was the only one in our, um, on our team that you know is taking that uh, presentation so she did reach out to a couple of more people to see if they would be willing to take it as well um, what else? Yeah, that was it. Um, but then it was like, she, it was one thing she wanted me to work on was, um, when I answer the phone for people that are, are not authenticated. But my thing is, I realized today, which I forgot to mention to her, I'll do it tomorrow. The thing don't always come up accurate. So, I, I'm going to keep doing it the way I do it, but still incorporate what they want in there. There was one line in there that I kept leaving out. So I don't think it matters how I do it as long as I get those that information in there correctly prior to going any further. So um, I, I definitely will do that. Oh, what else, y'all? It's always so much that you have to look at and take into consideration. But that last call I got, it was a simple call. But the issue was... The person calling had, this was her third time calling. She had been disconnected multiple times. And what she was calling about, I was unable to, normally when I pull up the profile, in this case, because it was not finished, I could normally click on a certain button and continue it, right? But because whoever she was talking to when the call dropped did not log out they were still in it 
they didn't finish it I couldn't go in and didn't do anything because they were still logged in uh, and so I was stuck I was like oh my god what you know so I had to reach out to my supervisor and while they're going back and forth telling me what to do and, da -da -da -da, and asking me questions all of a sudden out the blue my screen just went blank everything shut down you know my everything just disappeared and then stuff started to come back up slowly and I'm like, what the heck just happened? Did I lose my collar? You know, what, what, what? Something was downloading CVS something. I don't know what it is. Whatever it is, I probably got to notice and never noticed it because there's so much going on on my screen. And so anyway, it was downloading, running, whatever. It, it was just so much going on, y'all. It was crazy. And I ended up, she did end up telling me what to do. And I was able to do it. I got a hold of the escalations rep. But again, she couldn't even do anything because we found out not only is the person still logged in, but they left for the day. So that person left and was still logged into that account where we couldn't do anything. But eventually I was able to get the caller over to where they needed to go. Um, I was able to get as much information as I could. And so I ended up logging off, I think, at 523 or something. So, yeah, uh, I did document it because that's considered overtime um i still can't get into my time sheet so i'm going to ask about that again tomorrow because i want to make sure to put that you know document that stuff to make sure i get paid accordingly and i want to make sure which i think she said they did enter it correctly um they did have it where i only had those two days off um so my time should be entered correctly she did show me a screenshot of it um, so I don't, uh, but I want to see and make sure um, that they're not using, they didn't use PTO for those days that I couldn't get in. But yeah, that's that. So I'm tired. I'm sitting here. I just, I'm just, I'm going over a video that I tried to upload this morning but was unable to. So I'm trying to get that done for you guys while I play. And while I'm doing that, I'm playing solitaire. When I'm done with that. I will go ahead and pick back up reading uh, John. I want to finish uh, John tonight. And then that way tomorrow I can start on Romans. Um, so yeah. That's my night you guys. I hope you had a wonderful day today. Um, I hope for those of you who are traveling home from work and are stuck in traffic. Uh, I wish you safe travel. Um, safe travels if you're just out and about shopping or whatever you're doing for those of you on your way to work you know i just pray that you travel safely and swiftly um that you be mindful of those around you of, of course and you don't want your just yourself to be safe with those around you um remember to say your prayers i say the same thing every day and i mean it you know i say it because i mean it uh and trust god expect great things if something great you were expecting didn't happen today it'll happen tomorrow and if it don't happen tomorrow, it'll happen the next day. The important thing is expect it. Look for it. Okay? Uh, I will talk to you guys on tomorrow, but the Lord's will. Have an amazing night. Thank you for rocking with me for those of you who those of you who do. And yeah, that's it. Bye now.